What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? We are here for another episode of the Villanova Dynasty. And Villanova coming off of a big win against Cincinnati, a team they have never beaten. So now they're in great position in the American Conference, sitting at 6-0. and Just a few games left on the schedule. Three to be exact, including this bout at Temple. This is going to be a tough game, another one that Temple usually gives them a pretty hard time. They were able to knock them off last season, but it was a very close game. One would expect the same here as the Philadelphia rival ensues. Now, Villanova plays Temple every single year, and even by flipping to another conference, they will still play Temple every single year as Temple is their crosstown rival. Temple will start with the football and immediately going to pick up a 9.5 yard gain to Benson. Then Raynor, the running back, is going to break a tackle and he is going to be off to the races but nicely dragged down. So a first and 10 for Temple and a nice throw there to Jock. Now Russo looking again and he's going to find Mills and that's going to be a first down as well, 11 yard reception. Now Russo. He's going to not be dragged down. He's going to throw off his back foot and through the end zone. So Russo, Russo, 3 out of 5 for 31 yards. That will bring up fourth down. Temple will take a field goal. Villanova with the ball now. J.D. Hernandez on third and 5, picking up the tough first down there. Now Malik Dupree on a second and 6 is going to run for big yardage, 16 yards on that one. Now again coming across J.D. Hernandez and another first down pickup for him. Now Vasu Sharma looking, rolling, and he's going to go down. That'll bring up a third and 17 for the Temple defense. Now Sharma looking, going deep. I don't know why he chose that route, but Sampson cuts it off. And an interception for Temple. It will get the ball at their own 20-yard line. Walter Sampson with a huge interception for Temple here at home as they needed, needed to get off to a fast start against this Villanova offense, and they've ex, they've done exactly that. Russo now looking across the middle, and he's got right. And a flag. Let's see what the flag will be. It is going to be a clipping call against Temple. So that will set them back a bit. Here is Temple now on a third and five. We get a glitch out, but it was complete right here. As you can see on the replay, it will be a first down. Third and 12 later on. They look like they had him. He gets it. The throw away in Benson with a huge catch. Chris Benson for 45 yards. That'll be the end of the first quarter. And the score at the end of the first quarter, number 13, Villanova 0, Temple 3. Coming out in the second quarter, and it's Lowry, and Lowry the fullback. Jason Lowry going to run that in for a touchdown. It will be 10-0 Temple here early second quarter. There's Malik Dupree on first and 10. He's going to pick up nine. They're going to hand it right back to him. He's going to pick up the first down on a nine-yard gain once more. Now they're going to hand it to Aaron Lane, the true freshman. And Lane, nine-yard run there. Now Sharma is going to drop back. He's going to throw the screen play and that to Dupree. Dupree will pick up six yards. That's another first down for Villanova. Dupree now on first and ten. Great running through the tackles. That'll pick up eight yards. Now a second and two. And out to Justin Covington, who's going to pick up a first down of 12 yards. Now Sharma on second and 16, and he's going to go down. That'll bring up a third and 24. They need a big play here. Vasu looking for one. He finds Todd Graves. Somehow through traffic, and it's a 25-yard play for a first down. And now he gets Brian Gates. 13-yard touchdown to Brian Gates. Vasu Sharma comes back after throwing the interception and gets Villanova right back in the thick of things. 10-7. Chris Benson with a 9-yard gain there. Now a third and four for Temple. Wright will catch it, but it will not be a first down. They would punt Villanova with the ball once more. There's Brian Gates. Brian Gates downfield for 17 yards. Now Vasu looking, and he throws an interception. It is Falk with the interception. He's going to break a tackle, and he will be spun down for a first down Temple already in Villanova territory, and it's intercepted. Jesse Robertson, what a big-time play there by the corner. 
And that will take us to the half with the score, number 13, Villanova, 7. Temple, 10. Villanova starts with the ball here in the second half. There's Malik Dupree with a nice run of eight yards. Now a second and two. Coach Ferrante taking the ball out of Vasu's hands, putting it in Malik Dupree. Picks up the first down. Now Vasu to throw. Vasu scrolling, and he throws another interception, this time to Bradley. Three interceptions in not even as many quarters for Vasu Sharma right now. There is Mack, and Mack is going to break free and get himself inside the five. Brandon Mack, nice play. And a nice throw there to James Jock for a four-yard touchdown. The tight end beating the defense. Temple holds a 17-7 lead with 5.43 to go in the third. There's Malik Dupree, and Dupree's got some room up the sidelines on this kickoff return. And he's going to get it across the 40 to about the 35. Aaron Lane going to take over for a play while Malik Dupree is catching his breath. And then Malik Dupree is going to take it inside the 5. 12-yard run there, and Aaron Lane's going to cap off the quick drive for Villanova, which started with excellent field position. So a 17-14 game. Villanova's got themselves right back in the thick of things here. Temple. Sack on there, and a sack on third down. Anthony Russo brought down twice in this series. And they will have to punt as Corey Washington gets right in there. So Malik Dupree now, first down on a second and seven. Now that Vasu with the ball, he's going to throw a short one to J.D. Hernandez. That'll be a first down, five-yard gain. Now Sharma again. Sharma this time. He's going to find Todd Gray, and Todd Gray is going to get himself across the 30-yard line. Sharma on the screen pattern to Malik Dupree. He will get it to third and inches. And on third and inches, you know exactly what's going down, folks. There he is, Malik Dupree with the handoff. And he is going to pick up six. Clearly enough for a first down. However, Villanova trailing, but they are driving. End of the third quarter, down 17-14 here at Temple. All right, we are back, and here is Villanova. Malik Dupree is going to pick up the first down on third and four. A first and goal, Dupree again, and he will dive into the end zone with a touchdown, and Villanova will have their first lead of the ball game with 5.39 to go in the fourth. Now later on, here's Temple. Temple on a third and five is going to complete it to Mack. Mack with a first down. There's Lowry, the fullback, and they like to give it to him. That's a 12-yard run for the fullback. Nice, nicely done. Russo down the field to Simpson, and he breaks a tackle. He'll get himself inside the five. There's Rayner. We haven't seen much of him, the star running back, and Tyleek Rayner with a four-yard touchdown run gets Temple back on top. Now 2.46 to go, and there's a 10-yard run for Malik Dupree. Now Aaron Lane taking over for the tired Malik Dupree, a four-yard run for him. Malik Dupree will come back out onto the field, and he will run it for eight yards. Time is ticking. Malik Dupree again, and that is going to be a 12-yard gain. Now 117 to go in the ball game. There's Lane. Lane with a huge run. Temple getting in field goal range now. Malik Dupree, another good run. That's seven yards. Aaron Lane trying to pick up the first, and he does it with a four-yard gain. Only 25 seconds to go. Sharma now looking. He will find Brian Gates for a 10-yard completion. Now Vasu looking. He throws and almost intercepted for the fourth time. And this time they put it in the hands of Aaron Lane, who gets eight. Nine seconds to go in the ballgame. Lane is stopped. They will use their last timeout. And now with six seconds to go, Mark Ferrante taking the gutsy call to go for it here and go for the win. He gives it to the trusty Malik Dupree who gets the touchdown. And Villanova will pull it off, hopefully, as there's only four seconds to go in the ballgame. This extra point is huge, and they would make it, so it would be a 28-24 game. Temple has one last final Hail Mary chance, 
And it will go incomplete after going off about four Villanova players. And that will be the end of this one. An exciting finish for the Wildcats as they take this game against the Temple Owls on the road. Malik Dupree, Malik Dupree the clear player of the game, 23 carries for 161 yards and two touchdowns. There's Vasu Sharma, 13 of 19. 68%, not, not bad, fairly accurate. However, threw three interceptions today. 161 yards and two touchdowns by Dupree. Even the nine carries for 60 yards and a touchdown by Aaron Lane are incredible. Todd Gray with 43 yards. Brian Gates with 40 yards. So the young guy is getting it done today receiving-wise. A bunch of pancakes up on that board, including for Travis George. He had one. Blair led the team in tackles along with Sanders. Two sacks for Corey Washington, an interception for Jesse Roberts, or Jesse Robertson. And that would be about it for the defense. Mark Ferrante goes to now level 20 with that. What is the significance of that? Well, the significance is that we now have three out of three locks, and next time we'll be getting some ins to commit. Jared Rhodes has committed to the team, a 79 strong safety, as well as Bazinga Crow. I know you're all very excited for Bazinga Crow, the 70 overall kicker with super-duper kicking power. All right, so we have a few visits to schedule here, so we will do that, get these guys all ready to go. Greg Rodriguez, we're going to try and start getting a bunch of these guys. There's only so many guys left on our board. We only have so many scholarships remaining, so... We're going to work with what we have on the board and try and fill it out. Try and fill out all of those uh, scholarships as Kim Kibo might even come to the squad. We'll see what ends up happening here. We will delete that. We will get rid of these guys as we're there's pretty much no chance there. We'll organize our board. Next week we will be taking on the 1-7 and seven UConn Huskies. Kirk Herbstreet thinks it's a slam dunk for Nova. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and slap a like on this video. Let me know how much you're enjoying the hard work that I put into these videos and how much you want these series to stick around. I really appreciate you all. If you are new to the channel, don't be afraid to subscribe. we got plenty more of these coming your way as the series is going nowhere. Mm -hmm.